Hi, come on in. Yeah, you can sit or lay down, whatever makes you feel more comfortable. Okay, uh, so I understand that you're not feeling very well today. Mm hmm. Okay, and how long has that been going on for? About a week. Alright, and what have some of your symptoms been? Okay, and that's your left eye. Okay, so it's had some fluttering, some twitching. Mm. Any bloodshot? Sometimes in the morning. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, tell me a little bit about the uh, skin symptoms. See, so that's some redness. Has it been uh, flaky at all? Scaly? Okay. And has it been itchy? Okay, so that comes and goes. Okay. And have you put any um, cream or lotion or anything? Neosporin on one spot. Okay. And um, any other symptoms? Any um, signs of a fever? Any diarrhea, vomiting, nausea, headache? Okay. What about? Um, your hearing, has your hearing changed at all? Sense of taste, smell, has your body felt heavy? How about any weakness? Okay, so you've been able to be just as active as usual. Oh, I see. Okay, so definitely reduced in that sense. So you have the, um, I guess, sort of the bodily symptoms of maybe having sort of a cold, uh, but you don't really have any of the upper respiratory, you don't have any uh, sniffly nose, runny nose, uh, watery eyes, anything like that. Okay. And can you just... Um, me your date of birth and your initials for the file. First, I want to just take a really good look um, at all of the areas that you've mentioned um, noticing some changes, okay? Mm -hmm. So I'm definitely going to look at your eye, uh, at the skin on your face, uh, I'm going to look in your ears a little just for some good measure, uh, look into your mouth, at your throat, mm -hmm. yeah, just anything uh, in this region that could point to a sign of a virus, an infection. And I'm also going to take a look at your arms and hands, your fingertips. I'm going to make sure that your blood flow looks uh, normal in terms of how your skin coloration is it consistent. Uh, I'm going to 
squeeze your nails to see if the blood flow uh, changes the color okay and I also might have you do a little bit of uh, range of motion type things so maybe moving your neck uh, your wrists your arms and shoulders in certain ways for me and I'm also going to have you move your face a bit for me okay all right we just want to make sure that there's no um, nerve impingement uh, no damage in that sense and if there is something leading that way we'll probably um, have you do a cranial nerve examination um, just to see if maybe something um, has been pinched. Um, have you had any prior injury? Maybe not even recently, but earlier in your life. Any um, significant car crash, fall, um, being struck? Okay, let me just make a note. But okay. All right. Um, I think I'm also going to do a little bit of a touch sensation test then. Okay. Nothing crazy. All right. Um, so I'm going to start by putting some gloves on just in case you do have a um, virus or bacterial infection, something that can be spread. Also, since you do have some redness um, and a little bit of itching on those sp um, patches on your skin, uh, I do want to rule out a rash, anything uh, that can be transmitted that way as well. Okay? So now that we are all sanitary, uh, first thing I'm going to do is inspect your arms and fingers. So if you could just put out your left arm for me. Okay, and I'll hold the weight here so you could just relax. I'm just going to press a little on your upper arm. And I'm going to look at your hand as well. Just going to scan each finger. Okay. I don't notice any uh, fluid buildup. Your arms aren't, or this arm is not showing any sign of edema or inflammation of any significant matter. I'm gonna grab your fingernails now and just do that little pressure test. Okay. Okay, did the pressure on all of those fingertips feel about equal? Right. And can you flip your hand over for me, just so I can see your palm? Okay. Alright, we're gonna do the same with your right arm. Okay. So you can just relax the left and let me hold the right. feel quite uniform to the other side, so that's good. And can 
can you flip again so I can't see your palm? And I'm just going to grab your fingernails and again let me know if this feels about equal across the way. That felt okay. You can relax. Okay. Uh, your arms look good. I do see a little bit of redness, um, particularly in your forearm area on the underside. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's equal on both sides, or at least present on both sides, um, quite equally. Um, but I don't see any signs of inflammation in the area. Okay, so that might be more of a surface um, issue. Okay. It can happen that sometimes when you have uh, certain infections, you can have let's say an ear infection or a lung infection, you know, something respiratory related, um, even an eye infection, and you can get a rash on your body um, that is not close to uh, where the actual source of the infection is. Um, so that is a possibility at this point. Okay. So I'm just going to make notes there's some water there on the table next to you that's fresh if you'd like some it's of course very important to um, stay hydrated when you're not feeling well even if you're not sure what's going on it never hurts to have some water So moving on now, um, if it's okay with you, I'm going to come a little bit closer to you in order to inspect your skin, okay? Okay, great. So first I'm just going to look You can relax if you want to um, close your eyes if it makes you uncomfortable for me to be right here in your business, that's fine You can also keep them open, you can look around. And do let me know if this pressure affects you at all. Um, not just pain, but any tenderness, if it tickles or feels just tingly, strange. If I press anywhere and it's numb, can't feel it on one side as opposed to the other. Uh, definitely let me know that as well. Okay, I'm just gonna look up towards your hairline here. Just around your temple. Just gonna do a little brushing motion now towards your hairline so that I can see the color. Okay, and down your jaw here. Is your jaw sore at all? Sensitive? No. Okay. And on your chin. Up towards the top now. I'm gonna check again towards your hairline and across your forehead here. I'm not uh, noticing again any like fluid buildup. 
when I press on your skin, it's bouncing back normally. It's not staying depressed, which would be uh, not a very good sign. Um, I am seeing the redness that you mentioned, and it does look irritated for sure. Um, these spots, unlike on your arms, are not correlating from one side to the other. They seem pretty scattered. So. Do you remember if this all came about at the same time? Right, so for example, did um, you start seeing these splotches on the left or right side of your face first, or maybe the top? bottom, or did it all just kind of happen at once, or do you not really remember? Okay, that's fine. Okay. Any tenderness around this area of your nose? So what about right here, around the outside corners of your mouth? No? Can you close your eyes? What about here on your eyelids? Any tenderness? And on the outside corners? Okay. Those are all places um, where your skin is particularly thin on your face, um, so it's good that those areas are not more agitated uh, than the rest, mm -hmm. mainly just because it would hurt more for you, uh, which of course I don't want. Okay, so next I'm going to use a flashlight and just look over your skin once more um, to get a little bit more light um, and get a little closer as, as a matter of fact um, so that I can really look at the texture okay and examine if there are any extra bumps or if this is just a redness on your um, existing skin okay so the flashlight's a little bright but I need it to to see, so I apologize. Again, you can shut your eyes if you'd like. So I'm just gonna peek around. Hmm. Can you puff your cheeks out for me and just hold it for a moment? Keep holding, keep holding. Keep holding. Okay. Alright, you can release. And now can I have you raise your eyebrows for me? in your forehead. And I'm just going to look really close here to your forehead skin as well. Okay. Keep it raised. A little bit longer. a little bit longer. Doing great. Okay, then you can relax. Okay, next I'm just gonna have you close your eyes.
because you don't have to squint. Actually, it's helpful for me if you don't. Uh, just close them softly. Okay. you do is uh, just open your mouth for me. Okay, and I'm gonna use this uh, paddle just to look around. I'm not gonna test your gag reflex. There's no need for that. Um, I'm just going to use it to push your cheeks and tongue out of the way so I can see all your teeth and any areas of your gums that I need to. Okay, so just give me a nice wide ah. shake your head lightly for me, but have you had any uh, irritation in your mouth? Any um, cake or sores that are abnormal for you? Cold sores? Um, any pain in any of your teeth? Can you stick out your tongue for me? Have you had any teeth removed? Yeah, ever. Okay. Okay. Can you tilt your head back this time a little? can be pretty common um, when you're just stressed or running uh, run down if you are sick um, if your body is trying to get rid of something even if you've eaten too much sugar or too much salt um, you can have canker sores form in your mouth um, some people call them ulcers First, if you'll just follow the light with your eyes. Now, can I get you to look over here, please? Just keep looking at these fingers. Okay, good. And on the other side now.
just let me know when you can see the light, okay? I'm gonna back up a little bit. Good. 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 Keep looking here. Good. 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 Okay, great job. And now, can you look at my finger? And look at the light. Okay. Look at my finger. And look at the light. Great, okay. Next, I'm going to use my otoscope to look directly into your eye. Okay. You could um, just sort of look ahead as best you can. Little, get a look up your nostrils. Okay. Good. Um, there's a little, little bit of redness, not too much in there. Have you been blowing your nose at all? Okay. Have you been exposed to any potential irritants? Bleach, um, chemicals at work, um, driving past any sort of factory on your commute, anything like that. Okay. Any uh, perfumes or cleaning products. Okay. I'm going to take a look at your ears now. Uh, just briefly. This side's looking pretty good, actually. I do see a little bit of that redness like you have on your face, uh, up on the cartilage of the uh, pin of your ear, but that's, that's really about it. The inside of your ear looks really good, actually. So, just a little bit of exterior rash. And on this side, mm -hmm. this side is actually a little red on the inside, kind of similar to your nasal passage. And uh, this is the side that your eye has been acting up a little bit, right? Your left side. That was your left. Okay, that's what I was thinking. Okay. So your right ear and your nasal passages have a little bit of that redness inside. The left side only has redness outside, but that's the eye that was bothering you. Okay, I'm gonna look a little more of that left eye. Can I actually have you look kind of up a little bit? Okay, good. So just keep looking up. Good. You can blink when you need to. Just try to keep looking up for me as best you can. And can I have you look to your left now? to your right. Okay. And 
if I can get you to look down now. And I'm just gonna pull your eyelid up here a little bit. Just keep looking down, I know it's a little bright. Comparatively, your eye is not any more bloodshot, watery, I don't see any mass or um, fogginess, I, I'm not concerned about anything with your eye, so it's possible that the um, twitching and fluttering may have just been unrelated or a mild uh, sort of muscle spasm body is sick, things like that can just happen. Yeah, if it's not still bothering you um, and you don't feel any intense soreness around this whole sort of optic cavity, you're not getting eye headaches, right? Okay, yeah, I think that it would be safe to sort of table that for now happen again, I would like for you to call me uh, because that is something that I'm interested in, um, but I, I don't think that it's a predominant um, symptom of whatever is actually happening. Right. I think the underlying cause is likely um, creating your rash and the a little bit of um, inflammation, redness. Um, really, there's not much inflammation. Mainly redness. Um, if you had any uh, bloody noses, and you said your hearing hasn't changed. You haven't felt um, stuffy or like you're hearing things from a distance, muffled. You close your eyes, okay. And I have just an extractor here. Um, I'm not going to use it. It's just cool to the touch because it's metal. So I'm going to be using one of the ends to um, touch. I'll use the other end. Areas on your face, okay. So this should be cool and it should also be firm. In contrast, I have a just a Q-tip. Okay, I'm gonna be doing gentle strokes. Okay, so not a press, but a just little sweeping motion. Again with the other side. Um, and with your eyes closed, I'd just like for you to tell me um, if you are feeling the cool, firm touch or the soft, uh, sort of gentle sweep. Okay, so you can say touch or sweep if that makes it easy for you or whatever uh, comes to your mind, okay? Alright, so just close your eyes for me. Good. Good. And just keep your eyes closed. Good. face here, keep your eyes closed.
and lastly on your cheek. Good. And the other side now. Good. Okay. on your neck now and I would like for you to keep your eyes closed just because you can kind of see out of your peripheral vision. <laughs> okay, ready? round is going to be on your arms and hands, okay? So once again, just eyes closed. Good. Starting here on your shoulder. And I'm going to move down your arm now. And on to your hand here. Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay, good. I'm going to start on your hand on the opposite side. Okay. Okay. Good. Mm -hmm. Keep those eyes closed. Okay, great. You can open your eyes. You did quite well with that overall. Um, I did notice, though, that with the firm, cool touch in particular, it was difficult for you. Um, only on the areas where you're red. Okay? On both sides as well. When I did the Q-tip in those same areas, um, it seemed fine for you. You felt uh, either the dragging or the uh, warmth, since it's more room temperature. I'm not sure. Can you describe to me how that felt? Okay, so it was the texture, really. flare-ups lately. Okay. And are you on uh, any medications right now? Have you been taking any over-the-counter Tylenol, Advil, that kind of thing? Okay. Uh, do you see a dermatologist regularly? An annual checkup or something. It's been a little while. 
Okay, um, based on everything that we've done today, uh, I am going to recommend uh, and refer you to a dermatologist I know. Um, she's an excellent doctor. She specializes in uh, rashes, okay, particularly um, any sort of unexplained uh, discoloration or texture change with the skin. She is my go-to person. Um, so I would like for her to take a look at this redness. I think that maybe the symptoms you're having in your ear and um, nasal cavity mm -hmm. also yes with any of the facial things mainly that are interior right sores included um, I think that all of those might be uh, sort of offshoot symptoms of some sort of skin condition or irritation or infection that you have going on um, particularly because there is not much inflammation as well it seems very surface level in uh, in its the way that it's manifesting okay so either your body has not begun to really attack it or it can't um, you know there are certain skin conditions that you can have. Um, vitiligo comes to mind, but there's also sometimes with even like rosacea, you can get redness. Um, you can also get acne-like bumps and breakouts, which is why I was asking about that, but um, these things don't necessarily come with inflammation. Uh, they can alter the look uh, of your skin, sometimes the texture of your skin, without um, really being an infection or something that your body feels the need to combat with um, sending lots of white blood cells and making everything puffy and fluid filled. All right, so I would recommend, you know, that you stay hydrated. As I said, drinking water never hurts. Um, and if there is um, something larger at foot, uh, that will help your body flush it out, flush out any toxins, you know. Um, so I'd recommend staying away from any sort of massages. Um, try not to put much pressure on those areas of your skin. Treat them gently. Um, when you bathe, try not to use any harsh, um, particularly fragranted soaps. Okay. Um, what kind of uh, facial cleanser do you use, or do you use a bar soap, or... Okay. Definitely no exfoliation, n nothing that's gritty, okay? Um, until you see her. Um, and if you have a good face lotion, I would... I'm gonna write this in your notes as well. I would recommend that you that lotion on pretty liberally um, each time that you wash your face, okay? Mm -hmm. And uh, usually she can see patients within the day, um, like next day, so I will, uh, with your permission, send her over your file, what I found, um, and hopefully she can book you in for tomorrow. Uh, she works here at Clay Clinic as well. So we will coordinate that. Um, you will have to speak uh, with a receptionist on the way out to sign a consent form. It's a medical release um, to ensure that uh, you are okay, you understand and acknowledge that I'll be sending my findings and notes to her. Okay? And that way we can have everything coordinated for you to give you the best possible care as quickly as possible. Um, I know that it's not fun to be feeling under the weather, so we'll get you taken care of. Um, yeah, they'll want to speak with you a little bit about the consent form and just make sure that you understand um, what you're signing, so unfortunately that's not something I have on my tablet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you want a copy of your uh, medical notes that I took today, you have 
we have a right to access that, of course, um, so they can give you a copy at reception as well. I'll send this up there right now and make a note of that as well. And are you available tomorrow for this follow-up appointment? Okay. something happens before your appointment uh, with the dermatologist, let me know and I will put it right into your file so that she's completely up to date by the time you see her, okay? All right, great. Well, as you know, here at Quake Clinic, you're welcome to stay and relax for as long as you need to until you feel ready uh, to leave. There are snacks in the cooler and on the counter there. There's water, as I said, and there's a few more um, fruit juice drinks in there. If you'd like something, if you're feeling a little low blood sugar and you just like the taste, <laughs> um, help yourself. And whenever you're ready, you're going to go out this hall and to the left, and reception will come up on your left. It's just one turn. Great. Well, it was very nice um, meeting you, and like I said, if you need anything, just give me a call. 